Dude, where are we going? We're going to Maps Air Museum. Maps Air Museum. Yep, planes on planes. Doing some uh, general aviation. Uh, hey, man. What's up, guys? We're so going to we're going to the Air Museum. Maps. Air Museum. Yeah. Maps, Maps Air Museum. We're gonna shoot. Got, we're gonna shoot a little video. Do you know what MAPS stands for? Um, no. I believe it stands for, um, yeah, I don't know either. It stands for, um... Making airplanes pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Making airplanes pretty sweet, okay. That, you know what that is? I know what that is right there. I know what kind of plane that is. What is it? That is a Corsair. You're wrong. It's a wildcat. It's a Corsair. It's a wildcat. Wild Military Aviation Preservation Society. Maps. That's what it means. 1990. 1990. Dang, that's early. Dude, they have their own toy store. Okay, now we're talking. Dang. Dude, check out that old Ford truck. Look at this guy. Yeah, this thing. Stand in front of that for scale. That's a big plane. So this is cool. This is a triplane, but it's not a Fokker. It what is a Sopwith. This, look at the stitching. Was that normal? Like, what's that made out of? What's the stitching made out of? Fabric, bro. It's just fabric on the... That's what the whole plane is made. That's what Josh's plane is made out of. Really? Yeah. That's scary. <laughs> Dude, that's come scary. on, man. Dude, I want a metal. I want some metal or aluminum or some steel. I just want something <laughs> solid. That's pretty you know sweet. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of Peter's plane. The, uh... The, what do they call it? the uh, otter. otter. <laughs> sea otter. Sea otter. It's a sea otter. Goodyear. So we're at, this is at Akron Canton Airport, which is where Goodyear is, which is why there's a Goodyear plane. Yes. And there also used to be some other Goodyear stuff here. Yeah, right here. This Ooh. is the old uh, gondola thingy do of the old school Goodyear blimp. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, man, go in there. Look at that big prop it has. Hey. So this is what I'd see if I was in the Goodyear blimp. So <laughs> you have rockets outside your window. Rockets outside my window. I'm pretty sure the Goodyear blimp didn't I, have those. I don't think so. We're going down, Captain. <laughs> Mitchell Gray, wearing a gray shirt. Yep. My steeple. <laughs> so if you forget my last name, the United just look at my yep. shirt. That's all that matters. This Here's my question for you. Would you fly in that? In that? Yeah. That's essentially what our flug talk plane is. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, does this thing actually like? How does? Is it powered or? I don't see any power. I, see any I got Josh Skiles, my wingman. I feel almost invincible. <laughs> oh yeah, there he is. Come on. This is a 40 millimeter anti-aircraft gun, developed right, in 1929. Max ceiling was 23,000 feet, so. If you're 23,000 feet or below, you're in trouble. Look how big those bullets are. Could you imagine those going off right next to your eardrum? Fired a two pound high explosive shell at the rate of 120 RPM. <sighs> the seaplane? That thing? Do you think it was RC? It has to be. I mean, who are you gonna fit in there? Squirrel? <laughs> Squirrel plane? But you think it flew RC? I think it's a replica, and I don't think that there are any electronic modules in there. <laughs> Not a single one. No modules? That'd be a big RC plane. Uh, if I'm being honest, I doubt it. You doubt it? I doubt it. No. No. Yes, it's not. It is RC. Or it was at one point, because look. Servos. There's little servo slots. Yep. I think you're right, man. Right there, you can see there's where there used to be servos and on the yeah. ailerons. Let's you know what this looks like? Have you seen Star Wars? Episode 1? Pod racer. Pod racer. Look at that dude, that's Sebulba's. That's Sebulba. <laughs> that's a Allison 1710. Yes, Ranger L440. Ranger L440, it looks like it was on a uh, uh, PT-19 trainers, it was on the Grumman Widgeon. It's Pratt & Whitney R2800. 125,000 of them built. 
2000 to 2800 HP. So this was the uh, motor that was on a Corsair. It was on a Hellcat, Thunderbolt, and uh, the C-118 Liftmaster, as well as probably many other planes. But look at this thing. 2800 horsepower. That's a pretty large motor. And we can see inside of it. Look at that. That's Ooh, thought, man. Take a close up. Take a close up. <laughs> B26 Marauder. That thing's huge. Is that what we, we, we flew B25s for the episode, right? Yeah. It's similar though, looks similar. Look at this guy. That looks similar. Eh, it's pretty different. It is. <laughs> <laughs> would you drive that to work every day? I would ride that, drive that. I would do whatever with that. They definitely don't make them like they used to. You wanna go play golf? <laughs> this is a vintage um, World War II putting green. Yeah. <laughs> right in front of this giant American flag. Just so Dude, here's the crazy thing. See this thing right here? Yeah. It goes all the way down. If you're in the back of the plane and you need to walk to the front, you need to walk across the catwalk up into there. And if the bomb bays are open, you have, you know, if you're in the middle of a bombing run. Yeah, and you got to go And you had to get it. up to the front of the plane. I saw that in a movie once. Yeah. So we're shooting an update video to, to bring you guys some new and exciting news. If that update video isn't out yet, it will be shortly. You can check the link below. Um, but we're shooting a little announcement. And we figured what better place to do it than MAPS Air Museum. This is the weirdest plane I've ever seen. <laughs> so he just told me, it just blew my mind, boom, that this triplane, Southwood triplane, has a blip switch, is what he said? Yeah, it's a rotary engine. Not a radial engine, but a and rotary so engine. To turn, it's either all the way on or all the way off. So when you're coming in for landing, it's like... Doof, doof, there's, no th doof. there's no throttle, in it's other nothing. words. Which, if it, if it's you, either full throttle or no throttle. On, if it doesn't... Go back off. You just you're gonna Full keep speed. going until you run out of gas. That's not too bad. <laughs> Blows my mind. I'm never getting in that plane, dude. <laughs> nope, I'll go. I want throttle. Let's go fly right now. You get and that. it's made out of fabric. He said that it only flew one time. And it's made out of fabric. It one. Yeah, and it's made, out, it's made out of a towel or whatever. It is. <laughs> Canvas. Canvas. Yeah, get in this plane. I'm gonna get in this plane. <laughs> it's a Lim Six. Oh, it's a Polish attack. Ooh. Attack fighter. So I can get in here, huh? This. It's a good look for you, dude. You're Pol- Stefan's Polish, right? <laughs> no. Dude, I am Swedish. Dude, move the ailerons. Look at that. You're flying. Do I have my elevator? Do it again. Yep. Dude, this is cr Roll it. Would you fly it? Dude, I Would you go into battle? Dude, what is, what is this thing? What, what's moving? It's your rudder. Oh, that's my rudder? Yeah. Dude, there's a lot of gizmos and gadgets in here. All right, oh now, gosh. here, stay here. Where you going? F-100, North American. I have a feeling this, I have a feeling my plane's faster than Stefan's. Hey, man. What's up, man? Dude, hey, I, just, <laughs> I just got to work this morning. <laughs> Dude, I, I think my plane's faster than yours. Which one are you flying? Super Sabre. This kid wants to get in, so I'm gonna get out. You ready for your pre-flight check? Yeah, all right. We're doing the mic IP Motu on. out. We're switching, turn the volume up, see over. Here's my throttle. <laughs> switching that to Conrad. Man, move your Alpha, head Delta. Switch, these are the missile switches. Ooh. Pew. Pew, pew. Here's my drag chute for when I land. Boom. Thump, gun selector. You want missiles, you want to play it safe, you want upper guns, all guns, lower or pot. I'm going all guns. I might want to get a safety inspection on this one because <laughs> that does not look like it. F9F. 8P. I don't know if, I don't know if we're allowed in. Now we're in a jet ranger. Dude, this thing's sick. Dude, I want to fly a helicopter. Dude, right here, look at this, look at this view. Can we just, can we, this is what we're looking at right now. Like, could you imagine being in this? How do you feel about that right now? I'm flying. <laughs> it's the doorway to heaven. <laughs> Stop it. Come on, look at this, bro. <laughs> Fabric. What is this? <laughs> Why don't you like fabric on your plane, dude? It's some metal or something. This is metal, but the, the control surfaces are fabric. This is the tweet plane. Kinda tweet looks, at me. Kind of looks like a whale. 
Hashtag T37, hashtag tweet it, hashtag tweet it. F101. 101. Here we have a lightly used Delta dagger. F102 Delta, Delta dagger. dagger. Lightly right. used, being sold as is. Just needs a little TLC. And this is the MiG 21F fish bed. This is sick. Fish bed. <laughs> this thing looks super cool. It's the old fish bed. Dude, 5063 fish bed. Cherry tree lane. Damn. I think we've made it to the uh, scrap heap. Ooh, what kind of wing is that? I don't know. Are so we supposed is, to be out here? I don't know. I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to be back here. Trying to, we're in like the junkyard now. This is pretty awesome. I don't know if this is typically part of the tour. What kind of fuselage is this, dude? I don't know, but it, you know, it almost looks like a race car. Looks like, and it's in good shape. Look at that, it's freshly painted. Nice. Looks like a Warbird or something. Look at that holly. Yeah, dude, this is like a project that was never finished. Hmm. Look at that thing. I know, dude. That's why I said. Dude, the holly. That is awesome. This is the wings to that plane. I know, dude. U.S. Aircraft Corporation. Dude, if anybody knows what this plane is, let me know because it looks awesome. It looks like a plane I'd like to have one like day. Yoda. What do you need? These bombs? Dude, take one back to the shop and have one in our set. So they're over there. They're back there shooting the update video. I just kind of wanted to take this time to tell you guys, this is called MAPS Air Museum. It's in uh, North Canton, Ohio. It's actually about five minutes away from our shop, which is pretty cool. We don't come here enough. Uh, but I just want to encourage you guys, look around in your local areas for little museums like this. It costs eight bucks to get in, and uh, kids under, under five or six or something like that are free, which is pretty cool. There's so much, uh, as you can see, there's so much history here. And a lot of them are static models. There are a few operational ones, um, but it's honestly a great use of your $8 and a great way to spend the day, especially with your family or, or friends. I encourage you guys to uh, do a little research. I'm sure there's a lot of museums like this across the country and even in different countries um, that have a lot of your country's uh, aviation history. It's pretty cool.